Hey YouTube, today I want to give you a quick update about my loafer collection. Um, six of them are mine, two of them aren't. They are my colleagues and I got them just for comparison reasons. So these six are mine, four of them are Shell Cordovan, and those two are my colleagues. You can tell they are two sizes down. Um, as to my loafers, um, Four of them are Shell Corwin, um, you can tell the brown suede Alden loafer and in the middle the black ones are Crockett and Jones Bostons made of Calvary Cow. So guys I'm sorry for my, uh, for my poor sound because my microphone actually doesn't really work that properly. So here on the right side this is a Johnston Murphy Vintage. Uh, aristocrat penny loafer made out of burgundy shell cordovan. This is a beef roll penny loafer, which you can tell by the, those beefy little parts on the, on the outside. This is actually a full strap loafer, too. So, right next to this is the legendary Alden Leisure Hanson um, number 986. Um, also in color 8 burgundy shell cordovan and uh, there's a toffee on him. Um, the next shoe is the same model, also Alden Leisure Hand Sewn, um, made out of brown, dark brown suede. These are pretty old, uh, they are on their fourth sole, which is a vanite sole. You can tell by the, this, well, the, the weld doesn't look that crisp anymore. But they hold up well, and the suede is just beautiful. The next is my newest pair of loafers. Um, it's, yeah, yeah, those, those parts don't look that crisp anymore, but I like it. Wait. Next one is my new. Next one is my newest pair in the collection. It's a Heinrich Dinkelacker, made in Germany, I guess, or in, somewhere in Europe. Um, London Penny Loafer, made out of Color 8 or Burgundy Shell Cordovan. These are really nice. I think they are something in the middle between a low band loafer and the leisure hand zone, so and they're kind of beef rolly, but just kind of. And they have a really nice shine and luster on them. They are actually brand new, you can tell. I've just worn them once outside. So I can tell how they how they fit and how they feel. But they really fit nice. Well, and the next pair is a pair made of Calvary Calf, which is a sort of corrected grain leather made by Crockett and Jones. It's their Boston penny loafer. Um, I'm not that much a fan of Calvary Calf. Looks just about okay, but I don't know how to treat it. And you can shine it up a bit, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. But they're quite comfortable and nice looking, so I like them. The next pair is a pair made by Alden. It's their full strap low vamp loafers. Also made out of color H Al Coriman. They are around six or seven years old and they light it up significantly and they have a really nice shine and um, really nice glow on them. I really love the cold of the these. Show you that. Oh, hold up nice. So now these are my Alden Tassel loafers. Um, on the left is an Alden model, and then on the right there's an Alden for Brooks Brothers model. You can tell by the foxing on the heel. So this is a regular Alden Tesla heel, and this is the um, Alden for Brooks Brothers version. 
with the box. These are made of color eight shell cardamom. Um, been, I guess, like five years of age. They also light it up a little bit, but not as much as my low vans. But I really like them, and they hold up pretty well. Also, put a toppy on them so I can wear them bad weather. So the right is significantly lighter. And this is, uh, these are my black shell cordovan tassels. And on this pair I have a thinner um, piece of cordovan. So there's much more creasing in the vamp area. But it doesn't bother me that much. I've worn them a lot more than the burgundy ones. And I didn't put a top on them, so I guess it won't be long until they need a resole. Okay, so that a sole is but a lot of life left. So I want to show you the Dinkel Lockers and what I mean about the mid <laughs> mid band loafer. So on the right there's this um, Holden Leisure, Leisure hand sewn. It's actually not hand sewn, it's machine sewn and it's a different kind of sewing than what Alden and what Crockett and Jones or what most uh, makers do on their loafers. So here's what I mean. This is on the left is the Alden Lowland loafer, in the middle is the Henry Dinkelackers, and on the right there's the Alden Alden uh, Leisure hand sewn. I just put the suede ones for comparison because the other one is some size smaller. So the, the vamp area is much longer on this than on the left side of pair, and the hydrogen Dinkelackers are somewhere in the middle, which I quite like. Gives them a cool look. So I guess that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Um, if you have any questions, just comment below. Cheers.